Hello, Promise Church. I hope you guys are all doing well. It has been amazing. As you know, this is our Promise Monthly, and I'm coming to you with a video update that we send out once a month, in case you didn't know that. There's a great, great thing going on right now, as you know that the vibrancy of Promise Church has just been amazing, and it's God's hand that is continuing to do amazing things. We are filled with joy. It's just been incredible. We're in our new space, and it just seems to be like we just got our own home, and there's this tight-knit family that's starting to form, and it's just been amazing. It really has, and I think that's been a highlight for me from last month to this month, because last month there was a lot of uncertainty. We didn't know what was going to happen, and by God's grace, we got our approval, and we got the lease signed, and we had our Good Friday service, we had our Easter service, and every week we've got new faces walking in, and it's just been amazing. But the other thing that's really, really cool is this. We have been praying, and probably for the last four and a half years, that Promise Church would become a seven-day-a-week church. Our vision is to see people experience Jesus contagiously with everyone, everywhere, every day. Now, that's just not at the Promise Church building, but that's everywhere with everyone. In your homes, in coffee shops, at work, at school, in the parks. But because we have our own space now and we have unlimited access, Promise Church will be a seven-day-a-week church. Monday night, we have the women's Bible study. Tuesday, we have the men's Bible study. Wednesday nights will be Bridge Youth Ministry for middle school and high school. Thursday, we will have the Freedom Discipleship course going on. Friday, we will have our young adults group going on at 7 o'clock. Saturday, once a month, we'll be having our men's ministry breakfast. And I hear that there's some planning going on for the women to do a women's conference. Promise Church is alive and well. And of course, Sunday mornings, we have our wonderful services. God is amazing. He's doing great work. Now, these are a lot of things to be praying for. The one thing that's really heavy on my heart is Promise Kids. We want, we have the horsepower. God has gifted amazing people to fill those classrooms on Sunday mornings. And we're praying that somehow, some way, God will give us some wisdom and that God will bring an increase as it relates to those who are attending Promise Church. Um, for Sunday school with Promise Kids, bringing zero to 10 year old generation in so that we can uh, train up the next generation to follow Jesus, learn the Bible and build a family. That would be a major, major prayer request there. You know that there's many in our congregation that are sick. People are dealing with different things like neuropathy, cancer, um, eyesight loss, um, a tough pregnancy, um, and, um, a lot of people have been dealing with mental health issues. Uh, but the bottom line is this. When we're okay spiritually, everything else just seems to be okay. So I just want to plead with you all, please, let's just pray for the spiritual health of Promise Church. And of course, we do ask, seek, and knock that God will provide healing for those who are struggling, uh, whether it be mentally or physically right now. Pray for marriages. Pray for blended marriages. Pray for people that are suffering loss right now. You know, we've we've had a lot of families that are suffering loss right now. Pray for the elders, please, as we are praying for wisdom as it relates to our space because you know that things are kind of tight. So we're praying, God, what do we do? Which walls do we knock down? Um, do we rent some more space next door that's available so that we can have more seats um, on Sunday mornings. So that's something you guys can be praying for, okay? I think the only other thing that I would add to this update is Deb Lammers. She will not be with us anymore as of April 30th. This is a huge deal. You know that she's been with us for a long time, from the very beginning, and even before we planted Promise Church while we were doing the gatherings. And uh, she wore a lot of hats, social media, communications. She would create slides for us. She'd be updating our websites. She'd be doing all the emails that goes out. She'd be doing a lot more than that too. She prays faithfully for us. 
She's an amazing saint and sister in Christ. I pray that you would all please just pray for her and her family as she's in a season now where she will begin some homeschooling as her kids are getting older and she wants to be there faithfully for them and therefore had to step down from her role at Promise. So just pray for her and her family. Her husband's name is Pete. I love him very much. And she has three children. They have Lily, Maggie, and Kepler. Pray for them as well. And um, now also pray for Gail Jones, who's come on board. And she's in training right now, and she's learning a lot of things. Deb has been training her up, and she's been doing a fantastic job. So pray for her as she um, fills the shoes of executive administrator for Promise Church, okay? I love you all. God bless you. Please know that I'm praying for you. Pray for new births. And again, pray for Promise Kids. Let's keep some fresh families, fresh faces in there because we've got the manpower. We've got the woman power. We've got people that are ready to help kids follow Jesus, learn the Bible, and build family. Until next month, God bless you. And may your house be filled with peace even in the middle of the toughest storms. See you all on Sunday.